I'm Andy, and this is Fence Post. I have been ignoring the new pornographers since their 2007 release, Challengers. They are back with a new one, and it's called Continue as a Guest. Is it any good? The Canadian supergroup featuring none other than Nico Case, AC Newman, Dan Baird, Destroyer, and a handful of others, they came onto my radar with their sophomore release, 2003's Electric Version. Then came 2007's Challengers, which really just blew me away. And yeah, I know Twin Cinema was in there as well. Brill Bruisers made its way into my collection only because I stumbled upon a, a super cheap copy and it was on cool colored vinyl. I can't tell you what other albums they released that left me disinterested and frankly, a bit disappointed. But then they started teasing their ninth LP, Continue as a Guest, and something seemed a bit different. Let's dig in and let's find out why. I've thrown this album on a number of times already, both on vinyl, digitally, I mean, in fact, I listened to it earlier today, and I'm continually surprised at just how good it is. And that's kind of funny, because I kept coming back to the new pornographers due to the songs that featured a strong Dan Bear presence. His raspy vocals, you know, the ones that kind of draw you into Destroyer's music, they continue to keep me hooked. But on Continue on a Guest, they're notably absent. Aside from being credited on the opening track, Really Really Light, his presence is a gaping hole in the LP. Really Really Light was an early single by the band. There's a catchiness to the track, the music, the vocals, that I haven't heard from the new pornographers in a while. It's still fully invested in power pop sensibilities too, something that they've been dabbling in for decades now. Pontius Pilates' home movies opens with a saxophone, and yeah, I love me some sax. It doesn't stick around though. The vocal melody, the mysterious instrumentation, the driving beats, I'm digging this a lot. Oddly though, it never seems to climax, though the song feels like it wants to. It just edges you along and never quite allows you that bit of release. Last and Beautiful almost follows suit, but kind of in the opposite way. There's almost too much all the time. Lots of little bursts. We get to the end of the A-side with the title track. It's got this cool driving rhythm, a great vocal hook. The saxophone is prominent with a great lick, and you know I love that. And as a bonus, they throw in what might be the best chorus on the album. Oh, I love it. There is the release that I was looking for in Pontius Pilates' home movies. Kicking off the B-side is Bottle Explodes. This song, like so many on the album, brings a smile to my face. The music makes me feel happy. It's not necessarily happy music, but it still sparks that joy. It sparks more joy than Marie Kondo. Angel Cover is another one the band teased early on, and there's a darkness to this song, like many on the album, which isn't all too far off from much of what you get with the new pornographers to begin with. They tend to lean into that sound a bit. And Closer, Wish Automatic Suite, it's kind of a sleeper song. At first you think it's a bit of a throwaway, you don't quite get it. But then there's a great melodic element to it that will sneak into your head. That is what's been missing from the new pornographers. The power pop trait of a catchy, memorable hook. Looking back on the track list, I'm, I'm honestly finding it really, really hard to pinpoint one that I actually dislike. Sure, there are some that I don't like as much as others, but dislike? No. And there are quite a few that I don't just like, I love. So where on the past albums, Bayer's presence seemed to elevate the albums. His absence here does not detract. In fact, it almost feels like there's a freshness that's been injected into the new pornographer, something that we really haven't heard since Challengers. I'm left wondering, is it the absence of Bayer that threw this new, renewed, rejuvenated energy into the new pornographers? Or is it the move from Matador Records, where they've been for freaking ever, to merge? Did that free them up to create sounds that sneak their way into your head a little bit more than on the last quite a few albums? Could it be the isolation and turmoil that the world just experienced the last few years around the pandemic and all this other stuff going on? Maybe 
It's none of those things. Maybe it's something else completely entirely. I'm just glad they're back. They're back on my radar. They're back in my ears. And my sneaking suspicion is that with Continue as a guest, they are gonna stay back. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.